Center has been included in Time magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World. Internationally acclaimed HIV researcher Professor Glenda Gray has been included for her role in finding an HIV vaccine. She joins us now via Skype to tell us more about this amazing development. Doctor, congratulations. How are you feeling about this amazing achievement? Well, thanks. Uh, good afternoon. Um, it's, uh, it's a nice um, thing to happen and uh, I guess it's a, it's a result of all the work that we've done in South Africa around HIV and trying to find an HIV vaccine. Okay, I think you, you're a little too humble here, Professor. This, this is a, really a huge achievement to be recognized internationally on this front. You work in an area that requires so much patience. You've been working for so many years uh, on, on an AIDS cure, and I understand that failure is, is a big part of that before you reach that, that moment of success. Yes, I guess we're so used to making mistakes and, and having failure that sometimes it's hard to dream. And I think this award is about dreaming. It's about visioning an HIV vaccine, about finding a, a vaccine before um, the end of our lifetimes. And so uh, I guess um, I'm very excited about this and I'm very honored to lead a team that's looking to finding an HIV vaccine for South Africa. And uh, this award uh, um, you know, acknowledges the work that South Africans do and the work that scientists do in South Africa to find an HIV vaccine. It's about um, being, doing research and um, understanding and, 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 and showing that South Africa is, a, is a, a, a place where science can happen and where we can find things like an HIV vaccine. So yes, it's a, it's a good, um, it's, something, it's a nice acknowledgement for South Africa and for the work that we do here. Uh, just, just talk me through this. I, my understanding is that the vaccine is in its trial phase at the moment. Uh, would you be able to tell us just, just how far you've gone with it so far? Yes, yeah, so since 2009, we've been working on trying to find a, a vaccine that's specific for South Africa. And um, we've, we've done a couple of um, preliminary tests. And late last year in November, we launched this big phase three study. And this study is taking these vaccine regimens through a, a, a process where we evaluate whether it's effective. And so we launched it and it's going to enroll 5,400 South Africans. Um, by around 2020, we all know our results. Um, we uh, HIV is a formidable pathogen and so we hope that this vaccine regimen will either help us, uh, will either be effective or will actually show us um, what we did or didn't do right and help us develop a vaccine that will, um, will, will enable us to find an effective vaccine. So we do feel that this is a, an incredibly important trial. Um, one, it may be effective and two, um, if not effective, it will show us the path to develop a vaccine that could be effective in the future. I just want to, to understand this. I mean, you, you've been speaking very much about a vaccine that is, that is applicable to South Africa, relevant to South Africa. Uh, my understanding is you also investigate at an international vaccine trials network. Are you running these vaccine trials globally uh, or are you working on a vaccine specifically for South African patients at the moment? So, so South Africa has a specific clade, clade C HIV virus epidemic. And so um, we're trying to make a, a vaccine that's applicable to our region. And that is a, 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 a clade C region of the world where, um, of HIV. And so this vaccine trial and the trials that we're doing um, are aimed at, at finding a solution for Southern Africa and for a clade C epidemic. And so the work that we do, although we are a global network, um, a lot of the work we have concentrated on is in South Africa and in Southern Africa because that's where the burden of disease is, that's where HIV um, is ravaging our continent and, and it's a specific um, clade of, of HIV that we are, are aiming to, to make impact on. So although we do lots of work at an international level, this is the first um, efficacy trial to happen in seven years and it's happening in South Africa. And so this is very critical uh, to our continent and to our region. I have just one last quick question for you. We've also heard that what sets you apart is that you're not just a great scientist. You're also a dedicated humanist, which is backed up by all the work you've done at the Perinatal Research Unit and in other places which you've received awards for. How much of your interaction with people who've been debilitated by illness drives you to find a cure? 
Well, I'm a doctor first and foremost and a pediatrician. And so I was faced with seeing women and children dying of HIV in the early 90s. And those memories um, live with me on a day-to-day -day basis and, and help, help, help me form my, my passion to, to find something that's going to eradicate HIV. Imagine um, if we found an HIV vaccine. Imagine if it works in women. Imagine if it works in, in, in mother-to-child transmission. And imagine if it comes from South Africa and it, 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 it was... Um, uh, uh, we, we found this by South Africans, for South Africans, and um, imagine if we put an, an end to this disease in our lifetime, and that would be a great thing to happen. And so, of course, I feel passionate about it because I've seen how HIV has affected our country. I've seen women and children die, and I hope that uh, everything that we do um, will find a, an effective intervention that will stop this HIV happening in our country. It's a really moving motivation. Thank you so much for speaking to us today. South African Medical Research Council CEO, Professor Glenda Gray, who appears on that list of uh, Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People.